You hungry there, Aaron? Gonna do some eating? Well, I've got a hungry man. It's apparently... It's billed as one of the better ways to satisfy your craving. That's a registered trademark. And uh, I'm not sure what makes it so crave-worthy, why people would crave it. But I'm going to take a look at the ingredients and see if I can figure it out. It's got virtually every food group represented. You've got some type of meat slab. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what's in the gravy. you got mashed potatoes. It's another type of vegetable. That's right. There's right. a lot of vegetables right there. Lots there's of vegetables. Also some vegetables Tons here. Tons of vegetables and a meat slab. This was $2.22, by the way. This is a really good vegetable value. Yeah. There's probably a lot of vegetables in that gravy, too. Let's find out. What size is that font? <laughs> I think that's like a size Six. 4 point font. They don't make a point four font. So let's just deal, first of all, with the mashed potatoes. They've got reconstituted potatoes containing mono and diglycerides, sodium acid, pyrophosphate, citric acid, which we now know can come from a mercury cell chloralkali plant, Margarine, which is a partially hydrogenated soybean oil uh, with TBHQ and citric acid as preservatives. Also water and mono and diglycerides with extra BHT and more citric acid. So we have at least three sources of citric acid just in the mashed potatoes. We've got TBHQ and BHT, which those are antioxidants. Never, it doesn't matter if they've been linked potentially to cancer in lab studies or if they're just really questionable preservatives or if this is a mummy food. BHT and TBHQ, that's antioxidants, baby. Uh, soybean oil almost certainly comes from genetically modified soy, but hardly matters because it's partially hydrogenated, which really brings out the, the trans fat. Really brings out the trans fat and everything, which is just horrible for you. It can disrupt your hormones and cause heart attacks. They've banned that in like all these other countries. <clears throat> I thought it was now required to show how many trans fats are in a food. Now this this Hungry Man meal has half, well more than half of your recommended daily fat and 10 grams of your saturated fat right at half. This is, this is half. Alright, so we're not even actually done with the mashed potatoes. I need to stay on subject. <laughs> These mashed potatoes have beta carotene, so that's, we know that's good. Beta carotene's not for nutrition, it's for color. Um, it comes from corn oil and tocopherol, so it's not like carrot beta carotene. No, it's just synthetic vitamins. <laughs> it does have vitamin A palmitate, dried dairy blend with whey, calcium, cassinate, salt, Ooh, and water. Dried <clears throat> dairy blend, that sounds delicious. So that's your mashed potatoes. Lots of antioxidants with BHT and TBHQ. All right, let's move on to the cooked meatloaf patty. What kind of meat? What we'll kind find of meat? out, but that is, that's a slab of meat right there. Beef, pork, beef and pork, water, seasoning, and then you've got breadcrumbs in there which have enriched bleached wheat flour with niacin, reduced iron, thiamine, mononitrate, riboflavin, folic acid, all of which are synthetic derivatives that they learn to shove into foods. They, it doesn't matter how easily they're absorbed by the body or if they're a nutritious type of these uh, vitamins and minerals. They're just required by law, so they find ways to blend them in there to that enriched wheat or enriched flour or whatever kind of bread thing it is. Now, the cooked meatloaf patty on top of the beef and pork uh, includes salt, durum flour, vegetable oil shortening. Now, that's good. It comes from soybean. That's genetically modified almost for sure. There's no non-GMO seal on here. Organic is definitely not on this label. Vegetable sh oil shortening, soybean leavening with bi sodium bicarbonate, that's baking soda. Sodium acid pyrophosphate, that's a mystery to me. Monocalcium phosphate, don't really know what that is. Dextrose, really not that bad, but it's probably from genetically modified corn. Yeast, that's a code word for monosodium glutamate. It's a busted up. <clears throat> protein so they could get out the free glutamate. It's got spice extractive. There is a comma there. Yeast comma spice extractive. Ah. Extractive. Maybe it has an accent mark. I don't know. It's got maltodextrin uh, which is a different form of what corn sugar right? 
I just want to point out this video is already after, like five and a half minutes long, and we're I'm, we're like I, two ingredients in. Like I'm two, trying. Two. Dehydrated onion sounds good. Natural flavor with hydrolyzed soy protein, which brings out the saturated fats. We got ten. Hydrolyzed grams in soy there. protein is also another name for MSG. Soy protein again, definitely coming from genetically modified, but it's not labeled. Hi, there's a lot of labels here too, by the way. It's just the genetically modified is not labeled. Hydrolyzed corn protein, so corn and soy GMO. Dextrose Idolized yeast extract, that's more MSG. Tomato powder, okay. Salt. Worcestershire sauce solids, that has molasses, vinegar, corn syrup, salt, caramel color, garlic, sugar spice, tamarind, natural flavors. Tamarind is a form of soy, and uh, we already know about corn syrup, obviously. Caramel color, I'll let you look up that horror for yourself. <laughs> comma, spices, comma, so whatever just spices is. Green bell pepper, I guess it's proprietary. Green bell pepper powder. So we got a lot of vegetables in here. They're just powdered vegetables. Mm, powdered onion, green bell pepper powder. Garlic powder, mm, more onion powder. Mm, mm. Dried beef stock, yellow corn flour. We know what that is. Lactic acid, chili pepper, calcium lactate, dehydrated parsley, autolyzed yeast extract. That's Again. another form of MSG. Uh, hidden under another name. How many? I lost count. Disodium inosinite. Disodium guanolate. Guanolate. That's a flavor potentiator to help make MSG work better. I like flavor potentiators. Flavor potentiators? That sounds flavorful. Maybe even good. It's another synthetic chemical, basically. Another powder. After that, you got natural flavor. That can open up wondrous doors. Textured soy protein concentrate with caramel color. Ah. Oh. Wait, are so, we only like a third of the way down that giant block of four point text? Yeah, we're but, almost done yeah. with it. We're coming towards the end of the cooked meatloaf patty. We're not even halfway through this list. So on top of the textured soy protein concentrate with caramel color, you get to the comma. Then you got onions, green bell peppers, soy protein concentrate. How much soy, soy protein. is in this? Now we're back to soybean concentrate. Like in a bulk percentage, how much soy do you think is in this meal? <laughs> that, I don't see where it says. Then we get breadcrumbs again, which again have bleached wheat flour, salt, dextrose, yeast. And that's another MSG. Partially hydrogenated soybean oil. It's another trans fat source. You get salt, caramel color again. That's like the third or fourth caramel color. Sodium phosphate, eggs. I mean, eggs that sounds normal enough spice extract whatever that is whatever that is all right that is your cooked meatloaf patty so now we know ah. a lot of details about what that's made out so of. so it's soy 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 and some other stuff now i warn you we're not quite halfway through but the next ingredient is the gravy <laughs> where does it start does it start there and end? the gravy oh ends at this God. finger here and it ends down here when you get to the mix oh of no. vegetables i'm going to try a hyper reading we've already talked about what a lot of these hidden ingredients are so rewind the tape and go back to the meatloaf if what you're if not I sure what play it and fast forward like you're the guy from the micro machines yeah i love that commercial it starts with water that's a good way to start gravy then you get <laughs> tomatoes tomato juice calcium chloride citric acid comes from mercury cell technology perhaps Natural flavor, including sugar, salt, maltodextrin, onion powder, modified cornstarch, tomato powder, caramel color, and autolyzed yeast extract, MSG, garlic powder, spices, partially hydrogenated, soybean, and cottonseed oil, all of which are genetically modified and bring out the trans fats in you. Natural flavors, disodium guanolate, an MSG flavor potentiator, and disodium inosinate, dried jalapeno puree. Oh, wow, that sounds vegetational. Dried mushroom, bell pepper, juice. Now, I don't know if the bell pepper is dried or if it's just dried mushroom. Or is it dried mushroom, dried bell pepper, juice, solids? Bell pepper juice solids, carrot juice solids, vinegar solids, soy lecithin, grill flavor from partially hydrogenated soybean and cottonseed oil. So this gravy has two types of partially hydrogenated soybean and cottonseed oil. Ascorbic acid, which is a form of vitamin C, ladies and gentlemen, there's your nutrition. Probably synthetic. Smoke flavor, I hope it's natural smoke flavor, and egg yolk powder. Then you get the modified food starch, high fructose corn syrup. Oh, there you are, darling. Enriched flour, including wheat flour, niacin, reduced iron, thiamine, mono mononitrate, riboflavin, folic acid. Salt flavor, including corn syrup, water, hydro hydrolyzed corn protein, otherwise yeast extract. Mmm, that's certainly its flavor. Sugar, salt, beef stock, onion powder, propylene glycol. That sounds delicious. I looked that up before. Isn't that an antifreeze? Natural flavors, monosodium glutamate. There it is in all its glory. In there for flavor, ladies and gentlemen. Monosodium glutamate. Beef fat. Carrot juice concentrate, hydrolyzed soy protein, there you are again. Hydrolyzed wheat gluten. Now that sounds particularly healthy. Celiacs, would you like some hydrolyzed wheat gluten? 
celery juice concentrate. Onion broth. There are a lot of vegetables in here. Mm, this is definitely a serving of vegetables. Onion broth, thiamine hydrochloride, just I don't know even what that is. Tomato powder, spices. There you are again. Garlic powder, succinic sus acid. That's a new one. What? Succinic acid. Succinic acid, oh. Partially hydrogenated. Excuse me, this is the third form of partially hydrogenated soybean and cottonseed oil to appear in this gravy, which I'm sure, hmm, I bet it tastes very good. Soy lecithin, following the partially hydrogenated soybean and cottonseed oil. Caramel color, potassium sorbate. Tomato puree, including water and tomato paste. Worcestershire sauce, concentrate. Without anchovies, thank God. Which uh, do not have anchovies, but do have vinegar, molasses, corn syrup, water, salt, caramel color, gar garlic powder, sugar, spices, tamarind, which is a form of soy natural flavor, sulfiding agent. Beef tallow flavor, including beef fat and flavors, and finally gravy, the very last ingredient in you, parsley, which is very detoxifying, but I don't know if it's enough to take care of everything else that precedes it. All right. We've made it through gravy and cooked meatloaf patty, and it's taken a good 10 minutes. I will now read you lightning fast the mixed vegetables, which include carrots, corn, and cut green beans. Thank you. Carrots, corn, and cut green beans. Thank you. And let's finish with dessert brownie. Oh, God. Starts so the with, rest of those ingredients <clears throat> are for the brownie? It starts with sugar. And then there's water, so... So then okay. it just gets more exciting from there. Enriched flour, including wheat flour, niacin, reduced iron, iron, not full iron, just reduced iron, thiamine, mononitrate, riboflavin, folic acid. Folic acid, as you know, is good for babies. Mothers, get your folic acid. Partially hydrogenated soybean oil with TBHQ and citric acid as preservatives. Because when you want to eat, make sure your food is like a mummy. Also includes cocoa, eggs, margarine, which includes partially hydrogenated soybean oil with TBHQ and citric acid. Wait a minute, did they double print that? No, that's two separate ingredients. Partially hydrogenated soybean oil with TBHQ and citric acid is one ingredient, but it's on there twice. So I thought it was a double misprint thing. As preservatives. No, sorry. <laughs> They're both as preservatives. Then you have more water, more mono and diglycerides with BHT and citric acid, because you didn't get enough from the TBHQ and citric acid twice. You also need the BHT and citric acid. Beta carotene, well, no, is very good for you. Very great vitamin. Poor color, not for nutrition. Corn oil, tocopherol, vitamin A, palmitate. You get a little acacia and xanthan gums for, you know, that congealing, <clears throat> emulsifying thing. Sodium bicarbonate, which isn't... Am I wrong to say that's just... Uh... Arm and Hammer baking soda. Hydrogenated vegetable oil. Well, no, I guess it's not baking soda if it's made from hydrogenated vegetable oil. Salt, natural, and artificial vanilla flavor. Oh, artificial Including vanilla water, propylene glycol, ethanol. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, get your baby some folic acid and some ethanol. Mmm. Caramel color. There's a whole story behind that. And vanilla extractives. Extractives? And I apologize, on top of the brownie, there's also a sauce a bonus at the end. And then it is made from water, sugar, margarine, soybean oil, partially hydrogenated soybean oil, water, salt, whey, soy lecithin, mono and diglycerides, natural flavor, beta carotene, more nutrition for color though, vitamin A, palmitate, salt, partially hydrogenated soybean oil with TBHQ and citric acid as preservatives. So, bonus question, how many forms of soy are in here? How many of these ingredients are genetically modified? And will your head explode while well, trying to find out? Also, it took 16 minutes to record this video. Well, everyone is hungry now. Ugh. All right, so what are we looking at here? What's the damage? If you're craving this 660 calorie, one serving, 33 gram of fat, 10 gram of saturated fat dish, you get 196 plus ingredients for $2.22. That's a value. Yeah. This says it's a home style meatloaf. I guess that's how they make it at home. I think it would break any home's budget to try to get all those ingredients in one kitchen. You would need to take out a loan. Not to Can you imagine the cookbook for making this at home? Like, oh. <laughs> one whole book is just the recipe for making this. You had to buy industrial equipment to make that in the home? <laughs> to make it home style? The cookbook is 300 pages long just to.